here's some n prime, a neighborhood of Q that is uh, all contained entirely in such that n prime is contained in n. How do I know such a neighborhood exists? n is open. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Is n open? It is open, it's true. Neighborhoods happen to be open, but uh, how would we show that? This is an important fact, actually. Well, the definition of n is, uh, is, is that it's a ball around a central point P. Now the question is, why is there a tinier ball around every, any other point inside n? Why is n open? It's, it, well, we define neighborhoods as open balls, but open balls around a particular point P, right? So why is it true that around any other point there's an open ball, a tinier open ball? Do you see there's a little bit of, there is something to show here. Why, why, why is this, okay, so I'm, I'm going to come back to this, but let me at least write this, uh, uh, your, your justification, which is true, finish this argument and we'll come back to that. Okay, so this rests on the fact that, uh, uh, such that n prime is in, because, or I'll say can do because uh, uh, neighborhoods are open. Nice. Once you have that, then uh, we found Q prime. So Q prime is in N and the desired point. Once again, uh, we've established that N contains a point of A. So we're done. Right? I think this is the end of our argument. Is everybody happy with that? Uh, what have, have we found a point inside N that's in, that's in A? Yes. What does that mean? That means that uh, uh, P is, in fact, a, if it's not in A, it's a limit point of A. If P is not in A, it's a limit point of A. That's exactly what we wanted to show. Okay, great. Uh, let's justify the fact that, so here's a little lemma that we use without thinking almost. Uh, open, uh, neighborhoods are open. Why are neighborhoods open? Very interesting question. Let's redraw this picture. If you give me a point P and a neighborhood around it, why is it that I can find a small, for around any other point, might as well call it Q, that there's an open ball around it that's completely contained in N? Why? Go ahead. Okay, you want to do this by contradiction? Okay, uh, uh, let's try to avoid that only because I, I don't think we actually need it, but you certainly could, could, could do that. Let me just ask you a question. This, be, being this neighborhood, means that there is a radius r that defines it. Would you agree? Good. What can you say about the distance from p to q? It's less than r. Yes? So I don't know. Let's give it a name um, uh, so I don't have to rewrite it again. Let's call this distance, um, how about, uh, uh, let's call the distance uh, a. So I'm going to define A to be the distance from P to Q, and we'll note that it's less than R. Okay, I made, just made that a, a sentence by saying, note, this is less than R. Good. What's the radius you would suggest that would work here? 
R minus A, is that positive? Yes, because A is less than R, yes? Okay, good. So let's let, let's call this radius that you want to suggest, or call it, what do you want to call it? It's a radius, so let's label it by R. How about R prime? Let's let R prime be R minus A. And now what's your claim? The claim is anything that's distance less than R prime from Q is going to be distance less than R from P. Why is that true? Triangle inequality, yes. So this is really where we're using the metric. It's really important that we're in a metric space, otherwise this notion would not be, this neighborhood be op wouldn't necessarily be open. Okay, so here we go. Um, it's important that you have the triangle inequality um, in order for neighborhoods to be open. So uh, the claim is that the n sub r prime around q is completely contained in n sub r around p. And you can check this if uh, the distance from, let's, let's g give it a name, uh, some point x from x to q is less than r prime, then the distance from x to p is, help me, help me use this fact. I'm taking a distance from x to p, and what, should, what can I bound it by? Using the triangle inequality. dxq plus dqp, yes? Happy? But what's this going to be less than? Strictly less than? This is strictly less than r prime. And what's this going to be less than or equal to? Actually, strictly less than. Uh, uh, let's see, p to q, yeah, less than r minus, it actually equals a, thank you. And a is, uh, a is um, r prime plus a is uh, r. This is by definition r. But the, the important thing is we had a strict less than here. And this is less than this. And this, just, this uh, statement justifies the claim. OK? OK, so what's the, the lesson here? Um, the lesson is that the triangle inequality is really important uh, for this property that you thought was intuitive to be true. All right. So we have uh, a good thing that whenever I take the closure, I get a closed set. Um, let's prove a, a couple of other facts. Oh, yeah, question, Emil. Uh, so the question is, you didn't show that the blue set contains any other points. Sure, that's true. It doesn't have to contain any other points. But in this argument, the fact that it contained other points doesn't come from the definition as much as it comes from the fact that Q is a limit point of A. And so it had to contain another point of A that was not Q. Does that help? Excellent question. Okay, good. So uh, what else can we show? Well, here's uh, another fact that is useful to know. Uh, I claim a set is closed uh, if and only if, shorthand for if and only if, uh, it's equal to its own closure. In other words, adding limit points doesn't change the set, which should be evident, right? So one of these directions is completely trivial. The other one is, is almost as trivial. So if E is closed, then in the forward direction, uh, what we have is E prime, the set of limit points is in E. So E union E prime is contained with 